Oh, yeah. This is a this is a Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? My name is Miss Holiday, and I have the distinct honor and pleasure of being your guide through the best high school halftime musical experience that Central Ohio has to offer. Prepare your eyes and your ears to be amazed and tantalized by the explosive rhythmic sounds and energetic fiery dance moves of the number one Columbus City Schools High School Marching Band and Dance Team. Stop the cap. Ladies and gentlemen, stand on your feet and make some noise! I present to you the phenomenal, award-winning Linda McKinley, Unstoppable Mighty Marching Panthers. First on this music journey is the popular hit by the Earth, Wind, and Fire, Let's Groove.
Good morning, everyone. I'm Emmett Kelly, Homeport Board Chair, and welcome to today's groundbreaking ceremony for Mulby Place. Mulby in 2023 will provide a 100 apartment affordable rent community for seniors. But years from now, when we drive past on Cleveland Avenue, Mulby could well be known as the catalyst for Linden's Renaissance. Homeport did not make this happen by itself. A $26 million project like Mulby Place takes visionaries, investors, and community. 
Many thanks go out to the city of Columbus, Columbus Next Generation Corporation, North Linden Area Commission, Ohio Capital Corporation for Housing, Ohio Housing Finance Agency, Franklin County, Chase, and the Federal Home Loan Bank of Cincinnati. And let's not forget those designing, building, and leasing and managing Mulvey. M&A Architects, Alford, and Wallach Communities. So let's celebrate. I'm very pleased to introduce Homeport's new president and CEO, Leah Evans. Thank you, Emmett, for the introduction and for your work as Homeport's board chair. I look forward to our work together this year. Welcome again to all of our guests joining us remotely for today's groundbreaking program. We hope one day soon that our special events will return to in-person and we can't wait to see you. First, I would like to thank everyone who partnered with Homeport in this development and participated in getting us to this important day. Without the commitments and investments of our community partners and funders, this would not have been possible. I would especially like to thank Boyce Safford, Executive Director of Columbus NextGen, for his leadership and work that laid the foundation for our work here today. Days like today remind us that everything we do is incredibly meaningful. This past December, when our Board of Directors chose me as the new Homeport President and CEO, I recalled why I came to Homeport, and it was to do purposeful work that benefited others in our community. And I still wake up every morning excited and feeling the same way. I feel the joy, but also the honor and responsibility of this position. We at Homeport impact people's lives every day. What we do matters. Whether it's providing affordable apartments, building and selling homes, or providing home buyer education and financial counseling. This work has true and lasting impact in our communities. And so we come to our purpose here today to celebrate and thank you all at the start of Mulby Place, which will provide long-term affordable housing for our community's seniors and a large-scale real estate investment along Cleveland Avenue. For those not familiar, Mulby Place is located on the east side of Cleveland Avenue at the corner of Cleveland and Myrtle, across from Ina's Caribbean Restaurant. Please stop by. For over two years, Columbus NextGen has been putting together 18 parcels to become this site. Mulby Place will provide 100 apartment homes for seniors in a mix of one and two bedrooms. 10 of the apartments will be fully accessible through ADA compliance, and the entire building has been designed utilizing the best practice standards for senior housing regarding the common areas, corridors, doors, lights, and even emergency access. The beautifully and collaboratively designed building is reflective of the history of the area in both name and material, recognizing the Mulby Brickyard that produced bricks in Linden for about 50 years in the late 19th and 20th century. Mulby will also have 3,000 square feet of commercial space and a new green space area as an amenity for the residents. The residents that move in will be able to afford the rent and not pay a disproportionate amount of their income to have a roof over their head, leaving important resources for other needs. They will have access to the social service connections Homeport provides to our 6,500 residents in 42 communities across Central Ohio that we've grown to in the 35 years of our existence. Finally, the Mulby Place plans are expected to encourage additional investment in the revitalization and vision through the One Linden Plan developed by the area residents, business leaders, and community stakeholders. This is not just any groundbreaking. This is not just any development. Even the title of today's groundbreaking program could be a little understated. Making room for affordable housing in downtown Linden. As Emmett noted, we envision this $26 million project will be a spark for change for all of Linden. In a few moments, we will hear from Carol Perkins, chair of the North Linden Area Commission and longtime Linden resident and advocate. She speaks with wisdom of the community and its people. We will also hear from Mike LaRocco, president and CEO of State Auto Insurance Companies. State Auto has generously adopted Mulby Place, and we look forward to partnering with them to support our residents. Also on the program agenda, our very own Congresswoman Joyce Beatty and Mayor Andrew J. Ginther, the leader of our great city. Mulby is a tremendous development. It shows how much can be done when we stack hands to make a difference. It reflects tremendous partnership from the city of Columbus, 
Franklin County, the Federal Home Loan Bank of Cincinnati, the Ohio Housing Finance Agency, our funding and lending partner, Chase, and our equity partner, Ohio Capital Corp for Housing. This is exciting. This will allow people to remain in the community that they have lived in, have loved, and have connections to, and stay and age with grace and dignity. Voice believes Malby could prove to be the catalyst for other revitalization in the area, and we look to see it. Already, Malby builds off the other recent community investments, including the new Linden Recreation Center, a new community fire station, single family homes built by Habitat for Humanity, and the renovated Linden Fresh Market. Just up the street, Homeport recently completed Kinlawn Place, 45 apartments for families, with more development and investment to come. Thank you for sharing in this special moment. And let's hear from others who've joined us to celebrate this momentous day. Good morning, and thank you for attending the Malby Place groundbreaking ceremony. As the chair of the North London Area Commission, I am pleased and proud to be a part of this process. My husband and I have lived in North London for over 40 years. This was the best place to raise our son and daughter and we could not have found a better location. North Linden provides that neighborly, safe, and welcoming environment that we wanted to be a part of. As I've gotten older, I've learned to value independence that many seniors or older adults want and need. To be able to live on our own is a right and not necessarily a privilege since our generation worked so hard and contributed so much to our community. I applaud Homeport, community leaders, and all those involved in the creation and building of Balby Place. This facility will provide safe and affordable housing to older adults who want to continue their independence. In addition, it will provide retail opportunities that will be beneficial to residents as well as the neighborhood. As Columbus continues to grow, I look forward to new affordable housing in our area that will impact seniors, but generations to come. Thank you. Hello, on behalf of the 2000 Associates of State Auto, congratulations on the groundbreaking for Mulby Place. It's a terrific accomplishment, so thank you very much for all your hard work. We were very proud to support it during our centennial year by having 100 homes for 100 years. It was important to us because giving back to our communities is at the core of what State Auto is all about. All the way back to our original founder back in 1921, we believe in supporting our communities. It's especially important these days. We have had a lot of success across Central Ohio, a lot of economic success. But sadly, too many of our fellow citizens and too many families have been left behind and do not have a place to call home. They do not have food security. And so the work that all you good folks at Homeport do to provide those homes and to provide that support is just terrific. And I just can't thank you enough on behalf of our team. We are proud to support Homeport, and we will continue to support Homeport going forward. Thank you all very, very much. Peace. Thank you for inviting me to share a few remarks with you and offer my congratulations on the groundbreaking for Mulby Place. I've been busy. I just returned from the continent of Africa and just crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama all while dealing with a tremendous number of issues facing the nation and being debated in Congress. Everything from voting rights and civil rights to wages, inflation, wealth gaps, dealing with the global pandemic and climate change, and holding the January 6th hearing. We passed the rollout of Build Back Better and the infrastructure bill. But we have so much more work to do to build a better America. And yet locally we are inspired by and recognize the importance of taking care of our seniors and keeping neighborhoods healthy, strong, and when necessary revitalized. That is why we are celebrating the groundbreaking of Mulby Place today. 
Mulberry Place will be a cornerstone of the Columbus Next Generation's downtown Linden vision and works hand in hand with the broader One Linden future, envisioned from and by neighbors and our local leaders. As I have said, and we all know, affordable housing is a problem in general. We have 54,000 families in Central Ohio spending at least 50% of their income on housing, as well as seniors becoming a growing and underserved population segment in need of affordable housing. So thank you, Homeport, for offering Mulvey Place that will connect seniors to much-needed programs and services. Financially, Linden will benefit immensely from Mulvey Place with its $25 million investment that will send an influx of cash and spending power to an area on the cusp of a comeback, as well as the 100-unit garden apartments and 3,000 square feet of commercial space. And as I have said before, and I will continue to say, housing is a national issue, and right now, it is a national crisis. And unfortunately, Columbus is in those numbers of insufficient housing. So I say thank you to all involved today. Homeport, the city, financial advisors, community activists, and other organizations, all should be honored for bringing forward Mulby Place to address the challenge of affordable housing, particularly for our seniors, and for playing a vital role in creating a stronger community. So again, thank you, thank you. And now, it is my great honor to introduce the Mayor of Columbus, the Honorable Andrew J. Gesser. Andy, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good morning. This is Mayor Andy Ginther. It is my pleasure to help celebrate the addition of Mulby Place to the Linden community. Having a safe and affordable place to call home, a place that is all your own, is a powerful and special thing. It instills a sense of pride, stability, and purpose. And it serves as a stepping stone toward a prosperous and hopeful future. Mulby Place embodies all of these qualities and then some, signifying our commitment to expanding affordable housing stock throughout our city and across the region. 100 new affordable units, particularly those designed with seniors top of mind, that's no small feat. What's more, Mulby Place takes the residential experience to the next level by immersing itself in the heart of Linden with convenient access to coded transit routes, beautiful green spaces, recreational opportunities, and local retail. I'm excited to see this development come together and the impact it will have in a neighborhood that means so much to our city. With partners like Homeport helping us to meet the needs of this moment, I am confident that we will create a Columbus that is more equitable, inclusive, and accessible for everyone. Hi, my name is Mark Hatcher, and I have the pleasure of serving as the chair of the board of the Columbus Next Gen Corporation. Columbus Next Gen was formed to identify underutilized properties and core neighborhoods that have the potential to thrive and create vibrant and productive developments for Columbus neighborhoods. We are thrilled to partner with Homeport on the Mulby Place Senior Housing Development. Mulby Place will provide much needed senior housing as well as vibrant community and retail space for the Linden area. Congratulations to Homeport on the groundbreaking of this historic project. We hope this project can be the catalyst for the revitalization of the Linden area and a hub for future development. Good morning, everyone. It's Council President Shannon Harden. I'm so excited to be with you, even though we're virtual, for this groundbreaking of Mulby Place in Linden. We all know that we need more housing. We need more housing of all shapes and sizes at all price points throughout our neighborhoods. This project is an important step towards our community producing more affordable housing.
I'm immensely proud of the more than $6 million the city contributed to make this project affordable for our seniors. That's in addition to almost a million dollars leveraged to help improve the intersections at Myrtle and Cleveland Avenue, including a crosswalk to let our seniors get around the neighborhood safely. Mulberry Place is going to be a great addition to Linden, and I'm thankful to Homeport and all the partners who stacked hands to make this project happen. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Senator Herschel Craig of the 15th Senate District. I'm ecstatic to recognize the beginning of construction on Homeport's Mulberry Place senior housing development. I commend the continued dedication of Homeport staff, including President Leah Evans, the Homeport Board of Directors, and my good friend, Maude Hill, uh, in keeping Columbus affordable for those that need it most. The new project uh, will provide accessible and affordable uh, senior housing uh, in downtown Linden neighborhood. For years to come, the 100-unit senior housing development located on Cleveland Avenue along with 3,000 square feet of commercial space and additional single family and commercial, uh, commercial developments planned for nearby land will help provide critical housing and community space for our city. I congratulate Homeport on the groundbreaking of Moby Place Senior Housing Development. I look forward to continuing our work and urge you to carry forward uh, in providing ladders of opportunity for the most marginalized among us. Good morning. I'm County Commissioner Erica Crowley and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the groundbreaking for this exciting new affordable senior housing project. Our community has grown faster in the past 10 years than in any other decade in its history. And that's a good thing, but it does come with some growing pains. We simply don't have enough good affordable housing options in areas that people want to live in. We've also seen rising prices, gentrification, and increasing property taxes push some of our residents farther and farther out from the areas where their families have always lived. For many years, Franklin County has invested nearly $17 million per year on affordable housing, including through Homeport. And since 2019, we've added an additional $6.5 million annually in order to fund the creation of more than 200 new affordable housing units each year. Even this investment is not enough to keep up with the demand for affordable housing, and it is only through continued partnerships with investors, developers, builders, and neighborhoods, and cities that we can hope to begin to meet this ongoing need. As all of you all know, a home is more than just four walls and a roof. A home is made by the people who live there, our neighbors and our loved ones. And those people need a home that they can not only just afford to live in, but one in a good school district, on a bus line, close to shopping and close to good jobs, and a place where they feel safe. Mulby Place will be such a home for many of our neighbors, and as we continue to build affordable housing this year and in the years to come, what I'm sure we'll find is that we're helping to build the community we want to live into. Thank you all again for being here and for the work you are doing to help make this project a reality. Hello, my name is Sean Smith, and I'm the Executive Director of the Ohio Housing Finance Agency. Congratulations to the team at Homeport and its partners on the new construction of Mulby Place. Building a development like this one requires vision, commitment, and collaboration. And of course, OFA is proud to be one of the financial partners in this development. Efforts such as this are only accomplished by leveraging each partner's strengths and maximizing available resources. What an amazing achievement this is. Mulby Place is the first phase of a larger revitalization initiative for the downtown Linden neighborhood, which will also include single-family homes and commercial revitalization. Close to the new Linden Community Center and the new Linden Fresh Market, Mulby Place also provides residents with community spaces and craft and fitness rooms, places to gather and build friendships. For OFA, the investment in Mulby Place and its neighborhood goes to the heart of our mission, to develop affordable housing for Ohioans. Housing, especially affordable housing, is essential to a community. Communities are more than buildings and businesses. They are, at their heart, made by the people that live there. Mulby Place provides a safe, accessible place for residents to call home. 
and it allows them to stay in the community they love, close to family and friends. That is what we want for all Ohioans, a strong quality of life in a community they love. On behalf of Governor Mike DeWine, the OFA board, and all OFA staff, congratulations again to Homeport on this amazing achievement. Thank you. Hello and welcome as we gather today to break ground for this exciting senior housing development called Mulby Place. I am Katherine Cawthon, President and CEO of Ohio Capital Corporation for Housing, and I am honored to represent OCCH at this special event. Today's celebration is the next phase of the development of 100 units of senior housing on this three acre site located on Cleveland Avenue in Columbus, Ohio. What has been a plan has now received funding through various sources, including low-income housing tax credits allocated by OFA, a grant through the Federal Home Loan Bank Affordable Housing Program, as well as City of Columbus, Franklin County, and the State of Ohio GAP financing. This is a very exciting project located in the downtown part of the Linden neighborhood. With access to CODA's, CODA's bus stops, new and existing sidewalks, and various restaurants and shopping, the residents will establish new homes that will allow them a safe, affordable, and a comfortable residence. We are excited that this day has arrived, which serves as a reminder to us all just how important our work is. Mulby Place is an important development, not only because it will provide a beautiful, affordable home to Linden neighborhood residents, but also because it serves as an inspiration to the affordable housing industry. OCCH raises and leverages private capital for the construction, rehabilitation, and preservation of affordable housing. By providing affordable housing opportunities, many enhanced through supportive services, we can help build sustainable communities like Mulby Place and others that will help provide the stability necessary to support economic opportunities for our residents. We could not do this without the financial support and commitment of our investors who provide the funding to make these projects a reality. I would like to thank the investors of Ohio Equity Funds for their commitment to making housing affordable and their impactful investments to our communities. We are proud that by working with our partners, OCCH has raised over $5.3 billion in equity investment, resulting in over 55,000 affordable housing units in more than 935 developments. We are thrilled to celebrate the groundbreaking of Mulby Place. Good morning, everyone. I am Chet Shidlowski, a vice president and construction lender with Chase's Community Development Banking Unit. And we have the privilege of providing $14 million of construction financing and over $3 million of permanent debt financing for the Mulby Place project. I am pleased to be part of a business unit of about 90 professionals within Chase Community Development Banking that delivers loans for affordable housing projects investments in new markets and historic tax credits, and funding for community development financial institutions throughout the United States. I am also pleased to be called a colleague of over 14,000 people here in Columbus that work hard every day to deliver a wide array of products to consumers and businesses. I personally now have worked alongside Homeport during all of my 10 plus years at Chase. As much as anyone, I know how long and how hard Homeport team members work on a project before I ever hear about it. So all credit here to Homeport and its other partners at the City of Columbus, Franklin County, OFA, Ohio Capital, and our partner at the Federal Home Loan Bank of Cincinnati. We don't have the opportunity to do what we do without the diligence by all of you that precedes our involvement. So on behalf of everyone here at Chase, we want to thank you for allowing us to be part of the team that brings Mulby Place to fruition and transforms downtown Linden.
Thank you. Hello, my name is Dawn Grace and I am the Vice President of Housing and Community Investment with the FHLB Cincinnati. I am honored and proud to join in today's virtual groundbreaking representing the bank. The bank is one of the partners on this project. Uh, we are a banking cooperative chartered by Congress, but wholly owned by our member lenders. Nearly 630 commercial banks, savings and loans, insurance companies, credit unions, and CDFIs in our three-state region of Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Our member, J.P. Morgan Chase, partnered with Homeport uh, through our competitive AHP program and received a grant in the amount of $1 million to support the Mulby Place project. This project consists of the new construction of 100 units of low and very low income housing for seniors in Columbus. This development is a part of the Linden Area Neighborhood Revitalization Effort, which is a holistic development effort that will eventually include single family homes as well as commercial space. All units in this project will be fully accessible or adaptable. And this project has a lot of support from the city of Columbus. Homeport is an important partner with the Federal Home Loan Bank, as well as an experienced developer. And they've utilized our AHP program multiple times since the 1990s. The bank's congressionally, congressionally established grant program the Affordable Housing Program, AHP, provides gap funding to help complete hundreds of affordable housing units each year. Our program is funded by a 10% set aside of annual profits. And since program inception in 1990, we have awarded 827 million to support the development of more than 102,000 units of affordable housing. So again, we'd like to say thank you and congratulations to all of the partners on this project, especially home part, Homeport, and of course, the seniors who will be the eventual residents of this project. We look forward to seeing you all again when the grand opening and everything is ready to be moved in. Again, thank you for allowing us to participate and we appreciate the hard work that you do. Hello. I'm Anthony Forte, the field office director for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for Central and Southern Ohio, our 53 counties in our region. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development invests over $1 billion annually in the Ohio economy, and our programs affect two of every four citizens through housing, community, or economic development. Today, we are here to congratulate and to applaud Homeport in the groundbreaking for Malby Place Senior Housing in downtown Linden. Today, they have taken another step forward in their incredible history of providing quality, affordable housing with services. We add our voice to all of the stakeholders, the witnesses, the residents, and all of the community members in thanking them for stepping forward to provide housing for quality individuals that need affordable housing. On behalf of Secretary Marsha Fudge, HUD congratulates, thanks, applauds. Mr. Emmett Kelly as board chair, CEO Ms. Leah Evans, our good friend, Ms. Maude Hill, and all of the incredible staff at Homeport for yet again stepping up into a space that is so desperately needed. Thank you and good luck. Invite us back for the grand opening. This concludes making room for affordable housing downtown Linden. Today's groundbreaking celebration of Mulby Place is a community advancement. And what better way to punctuate that point than with the sound of a marching band? Thank you, Lyndon McKinley High School Marching Band for your participation today. We certainly hope that this is not only the start of a long relationship between Mulby and the band, but with the whole high school and the community. 
Mulby Place is going to make a huge difference for our seniors moving in in 2023 and the many more that will follow from it. It will provide for them a safe, affordable place to call home that is clearly needed. There has not been a senior dedicated project in Linden in several decades. This will allow people to remain in the community that they have loved, lived in, and had connections to, and again, to age with dignity and grace. Homeport is excited to be a significant component of Linden's revitalization through Mulby and our other community investments. We hope you enjoyed watching and participating in today's program. On behalf of the Homeport staff, executive team, and board of directors, I urge you to please stay in touch with us. Finally, thank you, Linden residents, and all of our partners carrying Mulby forward. We had a chance to visit the site to commence construction and throw some ceremonial dirt. Our partnership is making a difference. Now let's dig in. Uh, uh.